Heidi came out last night and she found this. Our dinghy was no longer at the back of the boat. It's uh, somewhere out there. That was a long painter, like probably 10 odd meters and it's pretty much all on a prop now. And now I'm gonna get into seeing her in first in Crocodile and first of water to get this bloody rope off. Gonna be a mission to get it out of here. Follow us on our new adventure on board sailing catamaran Pacific Star. Excited to be here! Woo! Can't believe it! So I come out to scrape the dish to get rid of the scraps and I notice our tender is um not attached. The shackle's broken and it had as well as a cable tie attached to it. So, and we've just noticed it's about 10 p.m. at night. Uh-oh, spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I tried to ring up the water police and no answer, so I got through to sea rescue and just reported it and yeah, hopefully it gets recovered or we get a new tender. This uh, dude we met a few days ago named Paul, the legend that he is, lending us his rib. So yeah, we're just in um, just the Picnic Bay, Magnetic Island. So that'll be handy. Heading over to the duck pond now, so at least we can go to shore. So if you're listening, Paul, or watching Paul, which you're probably not, bloody legend, cheers. <laughs> Update on the uh, situation. <laughs> oh, I've got Paul's dinghy uh, stuck in the prop. It's all coming into the, um, the duck pond. The port motor wouldn't start. I think it must be crap in the, um, in the filter. So I was having trouble trying to start that and, and didn't notice and we are trying to turn the boat into the wind so I could pull down the mainsail. And in the process of that, I just happened to get the painter caught in the prop. That was a long painter, like probably 10 odd meters and it's pretty much all on a prop now. So, so And to make matters worse, as we were just coming through the, um, into the channel, so I was down to one engine and the port engine failed again. So I managed to get it started on high revs and we, um, yeah, came into this anchorage. I was a bit worried it might conk out again, but we got here and we um, managed to get a spot in a pretty, pretty crowded anchorage. But we got the anchor down safely, so we're all good. But yeah, that was a bit hectic. And now I'm gonna get into stinger infested crocodile infested water to get this bloody rope off. So I'm not really looking forward to that. Yeah, it looks alright. See, it wasn't coming off like it was. Right. Twisted all between the, <sighs> twisted all between the, um, the rudder and the prop. So I might have been able to get it off, but for the sake of Paul gets a brand new paint line, <laughs> that's easy. Alrighty. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh oh, that was handy. How Could have taken a couple of breaths otherwise. How's the hooker? Yeah, awesome. Water's nice. It's not supposed to be awesome going down a hooker when you walk here. This big knotted mess, what was uh, wrapped all up between the rudder and the uh, and the prop. Yeah, it actually come off a lot easier than I, I thought it was going to when I seen it. What a mess. Hopefully the motors and everything are okay. Hopefully the uh, props and everything are okay. Found our dinghy. That is a big bank. So it's come up here on high tide. Um, yeah. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, sweet. So whoever found it actually put the anchor out. It's good of them. Got the uh, motor still on it, but no fuel tank. Yeah, well, can't win them all. At least we got the boat back. Bloody hell. Oh. And it's gonna be a mission to get it out of here. Of all places for our tender to end up, there's literally a pub like right there through those bushes. And we're lucky enough to park our car here. That's Magnetic Island over there. So I didn't actually come, I think it, it went about um, 16, 17 miles before it ended up here. Had our fuel tank under the seat. The guy that actually called it in told um, Coast Guard that it had motor and everything in it, but it had no fuel tank. We actually uh, just went to PCF and bought a new fuel tank, filled it out with fuel, just in case we could. I could actually drive this out to the closest boat ramp. So yeah, we just wasted a hundred bucks for no reason, but at least I got my my Yamaha 8 back. That thing's a weapon. Not knowing if our tender was going to return, we decided to ring up Pantaneous Insurance to put forward a claim. We were advised it would be a three month wait because normally, 80% of the time, tenders always come back to their owners. When you said you were planning to do some workouts, I bet you didn't visualise this. Yeah, lucky there's a pub just over here. Go. Let's drag this puppy up. Okay. Ready? 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 I wasn't lying about heading straight to the pub after that hectic mission. <laughs> Did everyone have fun today? Oh yeah, so much fun. <laughs> but we come to this pub that we never would have even known existed and I got a ticket to win that so who knows it could be a good thing <laughs> moment of truth see if she will start first pull every time the old eight yummy what a weapon we got the faithful old tender back but I'm gonna get rid of her, we're upgrading her today. We're getting, upgrading the tender with the same, same as that, but more flasher and a bigger motor. So yeah, tad excited. How old did you turn today, Zara? Four. How many fingers is that, honey? Two fingers. Zara, it's four fingers. <laughs> Well, later on that morning, we hired a car and made our way down south to purchase a new tender. We didn't know how long it was going to take for our other tender to be recovered, so we had a plan B put in place to replace the old tender, just in case. What are you wanting, honey? Uh, orange jacket and yeah, would be nice right now. Nice, great northern. This is all I've had for the last 10 minutes is just... 
Josh would feel complete, his day would be complete if he had a corn jack in one hand and a beer in the other. First world problems, Josh. Serious. Nobody cares. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. He's getting angry. Let me get transportation. Oh, we've got a Suzuki motor, 15 horsepower. Yeah, boy. Reconditioned rib. So, yeah, we're about to launch her. Hopefully, she works sweet. Yeah. Starts on first pull. Come on, baby. 20 pulls later. <laughs> got two attachment points on the dinghy now. Dinghy's up, all ready to go. So, hey, let's try to get off now. Fast. The old dinghy is chilling out. And I've got my next project on the go while we're, while we're here. It's going to make a nice timber table, build it around this post. We returned back to Magdaddy Island, enjoying a few bevies. Also visited the koala village, which was pretty interactive, and I actually enjoyed it more than Zara. I highly recommend to do the Fort Swap. This was brilliant. Got to see these guys out in the wild too. Thank you.